Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry there's a lot of light coming through the, the window, so it's probably blinding y'all. But anyway, try to make this quick. Um, we are going to do a quick little battery test on the uh, the sh uh, Streamlight, the Surefire Tactician. Um, I did my little haha -ha video of it. Um, in reality, I really like this light. Um, there's really not much I don't like about this light. It's really, really pretty cool. Um, and I got it for about $120. It, I mean, the com the competition being Streamlight and having their lights run a, you know, like 50 bucks cheaper than that in general, just give or take something like that. Mm, I don't know, but I do like this guy. I like the body of it. Um, just like I've, I've said before, I love the E2E when I had that. I still have that one. Um, and this guy combined with a really good, uh, good beam, good LED, um, the tail cap and everything. I don't really care about it being a non clicky. I'm impartial. I don't care. Um, but it does have a really good clip, which is why I lost my other light. Um, my E2E a long time ago, cause I had that inferior little bitty dinky tail kit, tail clip, tail clip, pocket clip. But anyway, this guy's really good. So if anybody watched the other video, part of it and didn't watch the whole thing and realize that it was a joke. No, now that I do like this light. Okay. Anyway, enough about that. One thing that I did say at the end of that video is that I was going to be testing out the the rechargeable 16650 batteries. These batteries um, can can replace the 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 two uh, lithium batteries. All right, they fit uh, this, the one rechargeable will fit right down there into your your two cell um, lights. And so far, I've really liked these things. These are by. Uh, Orbtronic, Orbtronic maybe, is that how you say it? I don't know, anyway, and I really like it. They're pretty good. Um, whenever I start out, I'll throw a picture in here. This, this To start out this test, it started out at uh, 4.2 volts, I think is what it was, 4.2 volts. Um, and we're gonna run it. Basically what the packaging says is that it's 800 lumens for an hour and a half, okay, and then or you can have five lumens for 94 hours, okay? 94 hours is a long time. I'm not really gonna do a long, that long of a, a thing to see if that's exactly what it does, but 94 hours is a long time. What I am gonna do is have this guy charged up, like I said, at 4.2 volts, okay? We're gonna put it in the, uh, in, 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 the, in the flashlight, get it all ready to go. I got my camera going, or getting ready to go. We're gonna turn it on, just straight on high, just like this, on high. And we're gonna let it go. We're gonna let it go as long as it can go or until my battery runs out um, or something happens. We're just gonna let it go. Hopefully we'll see if it go, actually gets to an hour and a half um, and if it shuts off. One thing a lot of people have said, uh, their concerns about using rechargeable batteries is that there's no real dimming time. It just shuts off and it's done. That's what I've heard, okay? Um, I've never noticed that but it could be true. So we're, we're going to check that and put it to the test and see exactly what happens there. So here we go. We're going to start this test and we're just going to run it. Um, I'm obviously going to speed it up because you're not going to want to sit there and sit at least for an hour and a half or however long this is going to be. So we're going to speed it up. So here we go. Okay guys, so there you go. It was an interesting test, wasn't it? Um, basically, the rundown of it is we had, what was it, uh, 84, about 84, give or take, 84 minutes before you could really tell the light was starting to dim down. Um, so 84, that's almost an hour and a half, okay? And that's using the rechargeable, not the regular batteries. I don't know what they would be. Um, that cost me, what, 10 bucks to do that? I don't know, maybe I'll do it another time, maybe I won't. Um, but yeah, 84 minutes, so about, about an hour and a half, an hour and 20 minutes, hour 24 minutes, um, which is pretty good at, on a consistent high beam, okay? And then you can tell, and what a lot of people have said before, and maybe it's because I had the light on the whole time and I wasn't using it, you know, for five minutes or using it, just clicking it on and off. Maybe that's when people just have a, a just an automatic shutdown with, with the rechargeable batteries. But as you can tell in the video, it, it 
took about 35, 30 to 35 minutes to beam down from 800 lumens down to its low setting, which it's advertised as being about five lumens. And after that, it just kept going. And actually my card filled up. So I don't know how, I don't know if it would have continued to go for another 90 hours. I really don't know. But the whole thing went on for, I think, about three hours. I'll put in a picture of, I was recording it or timing it on my phone. I just took a screenshot and I'll put that in there. I think it was about three hours of just the overall times and it was still going at that low beam okay and you can see so it had it had a strong it wasn't really wavering or anything for about an hour and 20 minutes and then you could see it start to go dim down for about 30 35 minutes once it got down to that five lumen it just plateaued and it kept going so it's interesting okay um that's an interesting thing to know uh, to know about the tactician um it, it apparently it, it is pretty good advertised at about an hour and a half okay um on on high and that was even with these rechargeables. So it's kind of a test of both the rechargeable batteries and the tactician. So that's just a quick little update video kind of review thing for y'all. If you're wondering about these kind of lights or this particular light, the, uh, the tactician, then now you kind of know. And if you're wanting to pair it with a rechargeable battery, now you really know what you're looking at as far as, as, far as runtime. Granted, I'm sure that there are gonna be differences if, um, it, the, Differences in a couple ways. The battery was fully charged up to four. Uh, it doesn't even say it on here. This thing says 3.7 volts, but when it was charged, when it gets charged all the way up, is at 4.2 volts. Okay, and then when it was done, I believe it was down to 2.8. I think I took a picture of that. I'll put that in there, uh, but don't quote me on that. But it did start out at 4.2 volts. Okay, and another thing is as you use the light. All right, if you're carrying it on a everyday basis, you know, and I don't know exactly how it's gonna diminish over time, you know, the voltage and all that kind of stuff, or if you're using it for like a month, if all of a sudden you're gonna go try to use it and it's just not gonna work, if it's not gonna be in that dimming period, you know what I'm saying, that 35 minute, you know, period, if it's just gonna not work, or if it had that period because it was constantly on, I'm probably rambling, but you know, I think you know what I'm saying. So anyway, Interesting stuff. So we'll we'll continue to test this guy to carry him and to test the little uh, rechargeables and see how they work. But so far, I am very pleased and very happy with the setup. It's really pretty cool for about 120 bucks for the light, and then I think the batteries were like 10 bucks. I think there was something like that. I'll, I'll I'll try to look that up and put the link down below for y'all if you're interested in that. But I really like these. I like these a lot more than I like these stinking guys. The rechargeable. Uh, I don't even know who makes them. Powerizer. Powerizer. They work okay, but I, they, I think they've killed some lights. But so far, these guys haven't. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching and subscribing. I'll uh, be launching this video on Wednesday, the 18th um, of April. Uh, here on, depending on where you're watching, it'll be on Facebook, or not on Facebook, it'll be on YouTube and Gunstreamer. I'm posting both places uh, for now. Um, and and definitely hopefully i'll be posting both places i like both both sites uh gun streamer just seems to be a lot more uh first amendment pro you can say what you want to say you don't have to worry about it um it's pretty cool uh youtube i just got a lot of subscribers i can reach a lot more people on here um but check me out over there on gun streamer subscribe if you haven't already if you're watching this video on youtube uh go ahead and subscribe i mean we do this kind of stuff i've got a lot of stuff coming up hopefully really really hopefully i'm very excited about something very very excited about another possible Thing that I'm not going to say a whole lot about yet until it gets 100% confirmed, but y'all will really like it. My subscriber base will really, really like it. So anyway, y'all be good to be safe. I appreciate y'all. Catch you in the next video.